Hey everybody, I'm here for a review and an unboxing of a new microphone that I found. It is the Sharper Image USB collapsible microphone. I found this at Ollie's. If you have an Ollie's in your area, you're probably seeing these. It's uh, on sale for $19.99. So I thought I'd pick it up and see what it was like. I'll show you the, how it's packed and give you my reviews. See if uh, I think it was worth 20 bucks. I was going to compare this with the blue microphone, but I recently moved and misplaced it. I have no idea where it's at. So I guess it's good I bought a new microphone because right now I can't find mine. So right now I'm actually recording with um, this thing. It's a toner brand microphone. I got it like real cheap off of eBay. I think it was less than ten dollars. So we'll compare the quality with this, which is a very, very cheap microphone. So here I am opening the box. Got some good foam for protection, although the box is already falling apart. Comes with instructions. There's a bottom base foam. USB cable. Careful, there's a gel pack in it, so if you have animals, make sure this doesn't fall on the floor and they get hold of it. So here's what it looks like out of the box. It's got a nice, it's got a nice chrome feature. Don't hold it by this thing. Pretty nice. It looks like one of those old timey chrome deals. So it stands up. If I can turn the camera. As I drop the microphone. This is like the most disheveled review video probably ever. It's got a nice stand to it. On the bottom, it's got these rubber rubber things so it doesn't scratch up your wood or whatever you're sitting on it on. And it's pretty secure to your surface. So So um, I'm gonna hook this up and um, I'll switch the microphones I'm using so we can get a good listen to the Sharper Image USB collapsible microphone. Looks like the plug is kind of like a one of those USB printer ports you usually see on the back of a printer. And then this um, does fold up nicely for storage. I like the look. It's very, very sleek looking. And you can see me. It's the eye. Um, so yeah, I'm going to plug this in and we'll see what it sounds like. Okay, I am back to test out this uh, Sharper Image collapsible USB microphone. And so obviously I'm just testing it out right now. This is the first video I'm recording with it. So I don't, I'm going to have to go back and listen in, to it and then come back again and tell you how I think it sounds. But right now I'm sitting about a foot away from it. So this is what it sounds like from a foot away. 
Um, typically, when I record podcasts or videos or whatever, um, I got the microphone like right up in my face. Um, typically, I don't really talk too loud when I'm recording podcasts. Um, so I keep them as close to my face as I can without eating it. Um, so this is probably about where I would let it be sitting um, when I'm recording. Uh, I'm not sure if this could be detached from this arm and put on a uh, like an arm, a microphone arm. Um, uh, that's something I'm going to have to play around with and see. One thing that I don't really like, and I'll show you here, is when it's just set on the ground or on your surface, is it's pointing down towards the table. Um, there's no way to adjust the actual microphone piece of it, so it's always going to be pointing at the ground if it's on the stand. Um, if you try to adjust the arm, it just falls back into place or, you know, it would fall backwards. So this is where it, it would sit um, in that one position. And again, it's pointing down. So um, I don't know that I really like that feature so much. Um, so Again, this is about a foot away right here from where I'm recording, and it's, again, it's pointing down towards my, my chest or even my belly uh, instead of up towards my mouth where I'd want a microphone to be, you know, directed. But um, we'll see how it sounds, and I'm going to, you know, play around with it, see if it, it is possible to attach it to some kind of an adjustable arm. Um, which would be, I think, more helpful, especially how I record when I record with it, you know, much closer to my mouth. So with all of that being said, I'm going to go listen back to this and give you a, a review on how I think it sounds. Okay, I'm back for a fourth time. I cut uh, a lot of these tests out. The first time um, <laughs> I plugged it in and I didn't get any audio from it. It was just me talking with no audio um, because I didn't set my computer to, you know, the new USB microphone. The second time I still didn't set it to the USB microphone and it was in, uh, recording from the internal um, MacBook. Speak, uh, microphone, the built-in microphone on my MacBook, and I kept that in there just so you could hear another microphone example, um, and I'll just, I'll kind of notate in the video that this is not the audio from the Sharper Image microphone, but this is the actual recording from the Sharper Image microphone. So, Again, I am recording from uh, about a foot away right now. This is um, not typically where, like as I said, not typically where I would have the microphone sitting. Usually it, I would be about, you know, here basically swallowing the thing. Um, because as I said before, um, I typically don't talk real loud when I'm recording. So I, you know, put the microphone close to my mouth so I don't have to shout. So um, here's probably about what my recordings would sound like <clears throat> with this microphone. But um, I think most people probably keep it at a distance. So this is back about a foot away again. And... Um, So we'll see. I'm going to go back and listen to the audio on this one and then give you a uh, review on how I think it sounds. All right, guys. So I have gone back. I've listened to all of the different 
recordings that I did. Um, the one with my cheap toner microphone. Um, the one with the internal microphone that's built into my MacBook that I accident accidentally did, but I decided to leave in there. And then the recording with the new Sharper Image collapsible USB microphone. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality of this uh, Sharper Image microphone. I did notice, and you'll probably all no had, did notice when you were watching as I was recording with the toner microphone, is that buzzing noise that was in the background. Gosh, that was annoying to listen to, so I'm sorry about that, but that's, I mean, a, a good example of the different qualities in the microphones that you can choose from. Um, I actually thought that the internal built-in microphone in the MacBook sounded a lot better than that toner microphone. Um, but this uh, Sharper Image microphone is actually, I think, a very nice quality sounding microphone. Uh, maybe not quite as good as the Blue Snowball. And the Blue Snowball has some extra features and settings that you can use, to, you know, uh, switches on the back that you can use to, to change, you know, direction on where the microphone is picking up your audio. So um, I would say the Blue Microphone is better, but it's also more expensive. Um, Blue microphones, I mean, not at, super expensive. You know, I think it, last time I saw at Walmart, it was like 60 bucks, which is, I mean, not not terrible, but I mean, if you don't want to spend that much, you know, $20 for the Sharper Image microphone is n not bad at all. And the quality, I think, is very, very good for the price that you're paying. And... Um, you know, if you have software like I use iMovie on my Mac, you have opportunity to, you know, enhance the audio, um, boost it up a little bit and make it sound a little cleaner, a little closer. If you're um, not wanting to put the microphone right up to your face like I do and keep it at a distance, I think that you could easily put this into, you know, some audio editing software and you could get a really nice crisp sound from this microphone. I'm really happy with it. I think it was $20 well spent, especially since I can't find my blue microphone right now. Um, this is a really good cheap alternative and the sound quality I think is um, really good for what you're paying for. Obviously this is not a professional microphone um you know your you know musical artists and you know recording studios probably would turn their nose at this thing but um to use it for podcasting on a budget uh on a small budget i think is well worth 20 bucks to have decent audio um you know, especially if you're using it for podcasting, there are people tuning into your podcast and thinking, I'm not going to listen to this because he's not using a good professional microphone. Um, all you really want is a decent microphone where people can hear what you're trying to say um, and there's not static and there's not that buzzing like in that first one that I had. Um, I'm glad that I, I did this review and used that because I probably won't use that microphone anymore. Um, so this uh, Sharper Image microphone is, um, I think it's a very good deal, and um, I think that most people would be happy with um, the result that they got from this microphone. So if you're thinking about getting it, I think uh, I think it's a safe bet, um, depending on what you're trying to use it for. Um, I would highly recommend the Sharper Image collapsible USB microphone. <clears throat> Um, thank you for watching this. If you found this video helpful, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully I'll be doing more reviews like this in the future.